Great Day Live on WHS 11 is sponsored by Strategic Wealth with Matt Dickin. Hey, you may recognize this guy, Matt Dickin. He's been a guest on our show numerous times. He's also the host of his own Sunday morning program here on WHS 11, Strategic Wealth with Matt Dickin. Good to see you again, brother. Thanks for having me. I think we're going to do a little uh, This Is Your Life theory today because people uh, it's important that people bit. know who you are. We're talking about finances. Right. They're like, well, who is this guy? I saw him on TV with Terry <laughs> and Rachel. Yeah. We've been getting a lot of questions on the website. Are, are you local? Are you from out of state? Is this a national show? Of course, I was born and raised here in Louisville. And on Sunday, we're going to devote the entire show to basically my life. Look my at history. you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be even more pictures on there on Sunday. Some of them might be a little embarrassing. That is awesome. Who's that guy? Yeah, Look that, at that's you. a high school picture there. I like so. that. And <laughs> and you knew you were interested in finances as a youngster. Well, look at you in love there, too. Yeah, it's my, my beautiful wife, Colleen. Uh, I absolutely. I got started in the industry at the age of 18. Uh, even going back to when I was maybe 11 or 12, I started uh, studying the markets and studying uh, economics and getting prepared to be able to help people with their retirement plans uh, once I got out of school. And instinct is a lot of that, too. I guess you, you come to learn that through your educational process, too. Right. You have to have a little bit of, of instinct and a gift for this, too. A little bit of instinct, but also knowing the history of the economy and the history of the markets. You know, there are certain undeniable trends that when you take a look at what's happened in the past and you compare it to what's happening today, although we cannot predict the future, uh, it'll give you a good idea of what might happen next. When you're starting at age 18, though, I'm sure a lot of people think, well, you're too young to understand how the world works, son. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons why I spent so much time, so much time studying the history of the, of the uh, markets, the history of our economy, you know, how politics, taxes, uh, international issues, how all of that uh, will impact our markets here in the U.S. I knew that I needed to know more than my competition. We saw your beautiful wife there a couple of minutes ago, and you're one of those guys who really probably can't turn it off even on vacation, though, but you're thinking about what's going on <laughs> in the world because yeah. it does play into what you do for a living. It does, and I really love what I do, so I don't mind spending time paying attention to what's happening you know, in Europe or what's happening here in our economy. Even when I try and turn it off, it's really, really difficult. I, I basically have to go out of the country to get away from it. Yeah, it's not like you're painting a canvas and then you can come back and pick it up whenever you want. There's ongoing information. For instance, this morning the jobs report came out. Right. Apparently it's unchanged from what happened a month ago. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that you have to be prepared to to wrestle with that information. Absolutely, because we get a lot of questions from uh, clients. You know, there's been a lot of issues in the news right now with what's going on over in Europe, things that are happening here in the U.S. Our economy continues to grow, albeit at a very slow pace. So we get a lot of questions. Well, how is this going to impact my retirement? What things should I be doing differently? Uh, and how am I going to make sure my money is going to last me as long as I need it to? Right. Yeah, that's always the, the mathematical equation that, that people have to wrestle with. I'm in this age. I want to I'm going to live to be 150, so uh -huh. they have to tell themselves. Right. And and uh, you're good, I guess, at, at telling folks, um, you know, the best path that you can pick for them or give them multiple options. Right. Most of our clients are retired or soon to be retired. So at that point, making sure that they have less risk with their money becomes very important and trying to find a way to make sure that we can guarantee their income for life. Those are the most common questions that we get from individuals in our office. All right, and uh, well, the, sh the surety too of knowing that that you've you've done this your whole life, mm -hmm. and this is not you weren't a guy who was doing had a different career eight months ago, and some right. people in your industry, not to knock anybody in particular, but some people do swerve around on their their. A, a application path. A little bit. This is basically all that I've ever done. Uh, this month we're celebrating 10 years. Uh, 10 years ago we started the company Strategic Wealth Designers. I had spent five years with another firm before starting my own company and, and we've had the great fortune of helping over 1,200 individuals with their retirement plans over that 10 year period. In addition to helping people with their retirement plans, you do philanthropic work yourself, help charities. Yeah, right? th through my wife and I, we're, we're very passionate about the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation Wounded Warrior Project in the uh, Animal Care Society. And I saw Toys for Tots on the list, too. Absolutely, yeah. We, we did an event uh, uh, a couple of years back where we had a lot of clients donate toys. I think we had about 150 or 200 toys that were donated. Oh, also, I, I spent last weekend up at the Speedway. You like racing, too? I do a little bit of racing. You know, even though I love what I do for a living, uh, you need to have some sort of an escape. And uh, about five years ago, I got my racing license and started spending some time uh, at the racetrack when I'm away from the office. What did that car cost? That one looked like it was a $300 <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, uh, but it's something that I really enjoy. It's, it's probably, other than spending time with friends and family, it's about my only escape from what I do for a living. Oh, that's pretty rocking there. Nice stuff.
Appreciate that so much. All right, Matt, and we can see your show, Strategic Wealth Designer, celebrating 10 years this month. So mm -hmm. congratulations on that, and we can see your show Sundays at 10 a.m. here on WHAS 11. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Coming right back with more Great Day Live.